Hey there, I put together a quick little video to show off using the format as table command to solve your issue with the uh, balance sheet that you're creating. So this is just going to be really quick, but this is just one technique, but I think it's it's useful and it, it really solves the issue that you're having here. So I've just got two columns, the amount and the balance, just as the example, but you can extrapolate more information out of this. So inside of cell B2, since this is the first record, all I'm going to say is the balance is equal to A2, to whatever the original balance is at the time of creating this balance sheet. Now, this is the important one. B3 is going to be equal to the balance, the previous balance, plus whatever the current amount is, in this case, a negative $50. So I'm going to say equals B2 plus this value here whether that's positive or negative in this case being negative so I'll hit my enter key and now I've got a current balance as of this point of fifty dollars now before I continue adding more records here I'm gonna take this table and I'm gonna go up to my home tab and I'm gonna turn on format as table now it really doesn't matter which one I pick it's just preference it's just formatting I like blue so I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of these blue ones so it asks me, okay, well, where's your table at? Great, there it is, A1 to B3. And yes, my table does have headers, amount and balance. So I'll hit okay. All right, so there's my table. Now I wanna to continue to add additional records here, but I want that formula, as you've mentioned, to continue to update, because I don't wanna do that manually. So I grab the little corner piece here, lower right corner, I'll pull that down, insert a new record. Now it's already defaulted to 50, because that's the previous one, but if I put an amount over here, I'll say, well, let's let's put a positive amount in here. We'll put $100, hit my enter key. And now I've got a current balance of 150. And I can continue increasing the size of this table. Let's say we got $200, then we got a negative 100. And each time I increase that table size, the formula continues down and it'll update based on the amounts that I'm putting in there. Currently, Based on these five entries, I'm at a positive 250. Let's just go ahead and say negative 250. I'll hit my enter key. Now I'm at zero balance. I'll bring in 100 and so on. So again, started out with the simple formula. Just the first balance is equal to whatever the current amount is. And then the second one, the important one, was taking the previous balance and then adding the current amount to it, giving us the current balance. And that formula just gets copied down as you format it as a table. Remember that's on your home tab, format as table. And you just grab the corner and pull it down and now you've got your little balance sheet going for you. Hopefully that helps. If not, you know, you can ask for some clarification or I might be able to come up with another, another method for you as well. Thanks a lot.